So you graduated architecture school. Now what? How's it going, my dudes? Today we are going to talk about what to do after graduating. Mainly, I will share my experience and what I did so that you guys could get a general idea of what one would typically do after finishing architecture school. So generally, you have two options. One is to go back to school to get your master's degree or you could go out into the big scary world and apply in an architectural firm. So my young past self chose to go with the latter which is to apply into an architectural firm. In most countries after finishing school, in order to qualify for the licensure exams, you usually need to work in an architectural firm and go through an apprenticeship program of some sort. In other words, you are going to do some real life architecture work. But before you get in the architectural firm, you would have to apply to said firm. Now this is where things get a little bit scary. So first, let's talk about how to choose a firm to apply in. So there are a few things you should look for. One is what type of projects does the firm handle. You should pick a company with a design style or design principles that you are interested in. In doing so, you will have an easier time adapting to and staying in this architecture firm. You could do this by going to the interwebs and stalk their website, Facebook or Instagrams, you know. So once you have found a few firms, and yes, that is plural, you need to pick at least 5 to 10 firms to apply in to give yourself a better chance of getting hired. After you have chosen a few firms, you're gonna have to look at the firm's background, like how many employees are under this firm. Usually, the less employees, the better because it means you get more time with the boss and other architects and you get to ask them a lot of questions. But this is not always true. So the best environment to apply in is a somewhat not so corporate environment where the architects interact with each other and collaborate on projects and where the people are passionate about architecture. But the only way to know for sure is to stalk their employees or you know, go and visit their office, which is the next step. But before we proceed to the next step, some of you might be wondering, what about the salary? Shouldn't I be looking for a firm with a huge salary? Let's get things straight guys, you are here to learn and not to earn. Anyways, don't worry about money yet, that will come in the future. Remember dreams require sacrifice, so just be patient. Now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to our next step which is applying in an architectural firm. So usually firms will ask for a curriculum vitae and a portfolio of your works in school. So let's talk about how to make a great portfolio. Okay, there are a few key points in order to nail your portfolio. First tip is to keep it thin. Just show your best work so don't include every single project you did in school. Your portfolio must be consumable within 5 minutes. You know, them architects are busy people. Just keep it to at least 10 to 15 pages but don't make it too thin like just one page. You don't want to come across as a lazy person. Second tip is to show diversity of skills. You have to include all of your skills that you think will be useful for the architectural firm you are applying into. So put some floor plans to show them you know how to use AutoCAD and then add some 3D renderings, then throw in some hand-drawn sketches and manually rendered stuff to showcase your hand-eye coordination. Also, if that architectural firm has a basketball team, show them a picture of you dunking or something. <laughs> but seriously, your portfolio is a showcase of your skills. Kinda like if the interviewer asks you, why should we hire you? Your portfolio should be able to answer this question. Third tip is to be creative. Try thinking out of the box of a way you could make your portfolio stand out. Like make a pop-up book of your works or you know, make a video of it or a website page but me personally I prefer a physical portfolio where you could instantly consume it without the use of a PC or a phone so yeah try doing something weird like applying with a Viewmaster so for those of you who were born after the 90s a Viewmaster is this binocular looking thingy-mobob that has a disc like cartridge that you put in and view so yeah Think of something dudes or go to Pinterest and look for ideas there. So let's say your portfolio is a home run and you nailed your interview. You are now working in your dream architectural firm. Yes! N now what? So all you got to do now is do your best and not get fired. And learn as much as you can from your mentors and everyone around you. If there's something you're curious about, just ask your senpai or seniors. Just make sure they aren't too busy. If they don't know the answer, write your question down and look for the answer when you get home. The next day, tell your seniors that you found the answer and share it with them. They will either get annoyed by you or be impressed. Either way, you gain new knowledges. So it's a win-win. Anyways, right now you are like a sponge. You must absorb as much as you can. So always bring a notebook with you. Every time you see something new and interesting, write it down or sketch it. Trust me, you are gonna thank your past self for doing this. Also, if you work in a multidisciplinary form, try to get as much knowledge from other professions that are in your company. Go sink your teeth in some engineering stuff or construction stuff you are interested in. At the end of the day, the purpose of apprenticeship program is to prepare you for your professional career. So go and learn all of the things all the time. 
as much as you can. And that's it. After apprenticeship, you guys will go on to review for the licensure exams and eventually you will pass the exams and become great architects who will mold the world into a better and more beautiful place. I, I, this is supposed to be a gesture of winning, you know, when... Anyways, last advice I could give you guys is to have fun and don't take things too seriously. A lot of frustrations will come with this new chapter of your Archie venture and there will be a lot of comments on your works. Most of it will be bad. Now, before you react violently to any comments and start fly kicking your office mate, Judy. Damn you, Judy! <laughs> As I was saying, whenever you get comments and criticisms, take a step back and analyze these comments and reflect on yourself. These comments could help you improve yourselves and that's what work is about. Self-improvement and growth. So don't take them too seriously. Did they just have a stroke? So don't take them too personally. And with that being said, I will end the video right here. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy Lian. Thank you, my dudes, for watching. I will see you on my next video. Flying peace.